tax our wealth. Super rich tell politicians that that... Bleh. Abigail Disney, Brian Cox, and Valerie Rockefeller among signatories of open letter condemning inequality. These clowns wrote a letter to politicians to tax them more because of inequality. Yeah, that's very convenient. Abigail Disney and Valerie Rockefeller, two allegedly human persons that have never worked a day in their life. And Brian Cox, the, the guy from Super Troopers? What is that? This dude is literally a socialist. Could you imagine being this rich and this clueless? Bro, nobody is preventing you from putting that money to work to the charitable purposes that you seek. Just go do it. Instead of slithering around on your yacht and writing letters, why don't you just go donate it then? Just donate it. You don't need a politician or some bureaucrat to take the money and then cut a couple of points off and then maybe distribute it to the places that you might think that it should go. Just go do it. Go take the money and start a charity. Go give it away. No one is stopping you. But this is how you virtue signal as you slither around on your yacht. They could take the money and build affordable housing. They could take the money and reduce income inequality. They could buy people food. They could offer people jobs. They could start charities. No one's stopping you. Giving it to bureaucrats would only take away from the money that's donated. But you see, that's how it works. Instead of just doing what they want with their money and donating it to the causes and purposes that they see fit, what they're doing by writing this letter is demanding that every other person also does what they want. It's not about giving their money away, it's about forcing other people to give their money away. But herein lies the rub. It's not about the donation. It's not about the charitable piece. It's about doing your good boy virtue points. It's about convincing bureaucrats that a wealth tax, which is not constitutional, let me remind you, or a higher tax, for example, is somehow good and virtuous. Because like all things, these things start at the very top and then make their way down to everybody. And what is deemed as a rich person now may not be such a rich person later. So, oh, it's two cents on every million dollars until it's two dollars, till it's two hundred dollars, till it's two thousand dollars, till it's two hundred dollars, till two percent becomes five percent becomes ten percent. And it applies to everyone. Look, 250 billionaires and millionaires. I request this, Simba. We have to attack that. Again, literally no one is stopping them. That's the point. If they wanted to write a bigger check to the IRS, what do you think they're going to send it back? There are no obstructions to them donating an infinite amount of money. But they won't do that because they just want the virtue. How about no, Brian? I don't want a large pharma. I want a goddamn 